Hey there, I'm Anthony Romano. Welcome back to another talking head video. <laughs> Today we have the man bun. Okay, the man bun is back. Don't know how long it's gonna be back for, but I had it when I was like 17, maybe. They used to call me Ponytail at uh, the pharmacy I used to work at. Anyways, does ketosis matter on a keto diet? The answer is not necessarily and probably not. So let's get into it and explain it in this video. And if you wanna go straight to the promised land and just know all the best keto fat loss strategies, Keto Shred Program, okay? Link in the description, I highly encourage you to get it. A decade of keto experience put into that book. And if you could like the video, that will make YouTube show this content, more of my videos to other people, and that's all you have to do to help me grow my page. Let's get into it. So, does ketosis matter? Well, I'm gonna start off by saying the depth of ketosis does not matter. Now, practicality-wise, in the beginning, you do want the most amount of ketosis that you can get. So you would benefit from a higher fat diet. You would benefit by, you know, being in the deeper end of the pool of ketosis. That being said, you don't actually have to measure things. You simply have to eat a high fat approach and make sure there's no carbohydrates, okay? The primary indicator, the primary instigator for ketosis is the absence of carbs, okay? Fats are like a lengthener. Okay, the fats will potentiate ketosis in that way. And keep in mind, the ketones you're producing, like let's say you eat no carbohydrates and then you eat nothing. Okay, you're fasting, right? You're going to be in a deep state of ketosis endogenously. Your body is forced to use body fat to make those ketones. If you are eating high fat, not all those ketones are going to come from your body because you're not giving your body enough demand to do that. You're simply putting it on the plate for your body and it's going to take those fats and make ketones out of them. So there's nothing wrong with that. And in the beginning, you want that to simply get the engine up and running. And then eventually down the line, you can start to, you know, move some of the calories out of the picture, pull some of them out, you know, and use other fat loss accelerators that are in the keto shred program that actually don't even require you to lower calories because that's just the simple tactic that everybody knows. You don't even have to do this necessarily. You could do fasted cardio. You could lengthen your fasting window. Okay. There's a lot of other things you could do that basically will enhance fat loss because there are other mechanisms to gain leverage on your body's fuel economy that's all calorie counting is it's one way to gain leverage on the fuel economy by creating more demand so there's other ways to do that and i have other free videos on those as well if you're interested but straight to the promised land keto shred program so back to depth of ketosis you don't have to be in the deepest end of the pool in the beginning it would be better but even then you know you don't technically have to you just have to be in the pool now a lot of people are measuring their ketones right and they're saying oh i have really high ketones at the beginning. That's gonna happen because your body is wasting ketones at first because it doesn't have that engine set in stone. It's not in place yet. It's not efficient yet. So don't even bother wasting your time or money on measuring. The thing is, once you get into ketosis, down the line, you know, you will notice, hey, higher ketones means that you'll feel better. You'll have more energy. If you're somebody who's not doing keto for fat loss, maybe you're doing it for a therapeutic reason, you will probably have more relief from your symptoms of whatever it may be, you know, brain injuries, uh, inflammation issues, lot, uh, depression, a lot of other things that I've worked with people for where higher ketones does correlate to better mood and better relief from symptoms. But in reality for weight loss, you simply want to be in ketosis and then put demand on your body. So this is why I always say there's a qualitative side and a quantitative side to weight loss and basically any sort of body composition goal because you can always look at things quantitatively. You can always look at things calorie wise, but you can also look at things qualitative wise and look at the hormones that are actually making these changes. You know, if you take carbohydrates out of your diet, you're removing the macro group that has the highest propensity to create fat storage. So you're actually controlling what your body does with fuel more than simply just managing the total amount of fuel. Does that make sense? So you have a choice of either quality of your actions, right? Input based or output based. You can either look at the the end result or you can look at the actions used to create those results, right? So there's always a dichotomy to everything. There's always a dualistic approach to a lot of these things. But when it comes to managing the depth of ketosis, you know, don't stress out about it unless you're somebody with some sort of therapeutic reason or if you're doing keto for lifestyle. Like I've worked with people who simply just get into keto because they work really hard. They're, you know, business people, things of that nature, and they simply need to get better results out of their work and they need to mentally optimize themselves rather than, you know, physically optimize and go for the vanity goals and cosmetic goals. But as far as the aesthetic goals go, here's the actual pinpoint linchpin of the video. This is very important. So stay here. Don't leave. Okay. What? you can actually do technically let's say somebody had started a keto diet and they're in ketosis and then from there 
They're not concerned about ketones, but they simply eat more carbs than allowed. They don't eat the right types of carbs. They don't eat only greens or nothing, right? They eat some of the wrong types of carbs. Well, technically, if they just eat in a manner that puts demand on their body, right? They eat very low calories, then yeah, they will lose weight and they can actually get faster weight loss than simply focusing on only the hormone, the high fat keto approach, which is what every keto guru will tell you. But in reality, there's a merging of the two. You could not even be in ketosis. You can be in very you know, low levels of ketosis, if at all, and then manipulate your calories to create more demand. So why am I saying this? Well, the reason why I'm telling you is because First of all, that's going to suck. It's going to feel like shit. You're going to feel hungry. You're going to be on a blood sugar roller coaster because you're keeping your body on a carb metabolism but giving it very few carbs to work with. But at the same time, this is the approach every other dieter uses. Every fitness guru who's doing, you know, hours of cardio on their vlogs they'll show you and they're pounding back their diet coke which is gonna the aspartame is gonna raise their blood sugar and create a mental addiction because aspartame is a excitatory neurotoxin they're gonna do a lot of things like that which are going to make them hungrier and make the experience of a fat loss diet far worse and less enjoyable but the point is will they still experience weight loss absolutely just will it be harder yes so the whole point of this video is that all you have to understand is that depth of ketosis doesn't matter but you should be aware of it because if you are aware of when you're causing blood sugar spikes, then you're going to be in control of your hunger all day long. So that is the primary takeaway from this video. And I hope this video has given you a load of value. And if it has, like it. Okay, subscribe to this page for loads of more keto content. I have hundreds of videos on this page answering every single question you might have. Okay, and if you want to reach out to me personally, I offer consultations that you can book right now on my website, romanoketo.com. Or you can also apply for long-term coaching where you and I are literally in communication 24-7 every day like two pals okay literally just working on all the tweaks towards your goal every single day so that's another service i offer as well but i encourage you to go watch some more of my free videos and leave some comments down below i'll do my best to get back to you thank you i'm anthony romano peace